Okay, I'd like to cover Yeshua's last words or several of his last words that he spoke of before he gave up the spirit on the cross. Uh, he said a word in Greek called tetelestarte, meaning it is finished. It is accomplished. It also means paid in full. So, uh, but, he, but he was also prophesying on the cross. And the only time I can remember it in one, any of the uh, passion plays is Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth the Franco Zeffirelli uh, version. And in that, uh, he, uh, uh, he, he starts saying, which, it, which, which he does say, and it's, 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 it's in the Gospels, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Well, I've seen pastors butcher the meaning of this five ways to Friday when he's saying there he's it's called the crucifixion psalm it's psalm 22 and if you read psalm 22 it starts off the same way my god my god why hast thou forsaken me and then it describes what you would be going through if you were being crucified the pain that he's felt so it's called the crucifixion psalm and uh that's uh that that's what he was pointing to so uh, well-meaning or just uneducated people. I've heard Hagee say, no, he was a, a cast from God because of all this. But, uh, you know, and he was put in hell for that. Well, he went to the grave, but uh, he was resurrected, and he's your savior. He's the only hope. Uh, and uh, this is, you know... There's no way getting around this. There's no Muhammad, no Confucius. They're all in the grave. But if you look up the crucifixion psalm, and remember, uh, crucifixion uh, psalms were written, the song books of the psalms, which is what psalm means, were written hundreds of years before that happened. There was no crucifixion at the time. Crucifixion was a Roman torture, and Rome hadn't even risen yet. Greece was in charge at the time. So uh, check it out, Psalm 22, the crucifixion psalm. I'm out.